Hello everyone, welcome to Open Source Scope. In this video, we are going to talk about an interesting command line tool called as the Midnight Commander. This tool has been there for a very long time, but many people do not know about it or they have not used it. So, what exactly is Midnight Commander? Midnight Commander is a command line based visual file manager. Yes. You heard it right. It's a visual file manager, something similar to what you have on the graphical user interface, like the file managers. So on the command line, when you have to process multiple files or do a lot of operations, sometimes it becomes tedious. I won't say it's difficult, but it is tedious to work directly on the command line. So Midnight Commander comes to your help and I would suggest that everyone should have this utility installed on their machines. So I'm assuming you know how to install it. The Midnight Commander's website is midnightcommander.org. If you don't have it in your Linux uh, repositories, you can download it from here. Probably you'll have to build it. But as far as I understand, it should be there in most of the Linux distributions. So depending upon whatever you are using, either from the command line, app kit, RPM, URPMI or whatever is there, uh, just download Midnight Commander and install it. Once you have installed Midnight Commander, you can run it from the command line by typing the command MC. And here you go. This is your Midnight commander. Now, how do you work with this? Well, just like your uh, graphical file manager, you get two windows over here or two panes you can say. One is this side which you can see and another is this side. So, you can sh jump between these two sides by pressing tab. Okay. Now, obviously, you are not expected to use the mouse in this because you are working on the command line. I'm using the mouse just to demonstrate which are the things where. So, as soon as you start Midnight Commander, just like when you log in into a shell, you'll be dropped into your home directory. So, the left hand side and the right hand side both are showing me my home directory. And over here in this corner, it displays in which directory you are currently for that particular frame or pane. So over here also it is in my home directory. Over here also it is in my home directory. You get to see the size, modification time and other things. Below over here at the bottom, you can see there is help, menu, view, edit, copy, rename, move, make directory, delete, pull down and F10 to quit. So these are actually your representation of function keys and uh, you can press one of those keys to get that particular thing. So over here as I pressed F2 it pops up a menu. Okay, you can press escape to get out of that. View is if you want to view some text file or any other file which is there. Like if I press F3 over here, I can view this file. So in the command line, you might use cat, less, more or some other command to view this. Here you can directly do this. F4, if you want to edit a file, let us say I want to edit this file. So uh, it's going to let you edit the file. So most probably if you run it for the first time, it is going to ask you, which editor you want to use. So nano is one of the easiest to use editors. It is saying easiest. I would go in with choice number two. That is uh, the internal editor provided by Midnight Commander. So I have set it to that. So over here now my file is open. I can make any changes to this. Okay. Lot of operations can be done over here, which you can see copy, move, search and other things. I'm not going to get into the details of this right now, but if you want, you can press F2 to save. 
and uh, you can press escape to come out of this so if i press escape twice i'll come out of it if you would have made any changes it would have asked you so the basic operations like copy move rename make directory or delete a file can be easily done from this particular interface so first of all let us say i would like to copy some files into this music okay to move around as i said i can press tab to move around from the left side to the right side and i can use arrow keys up and down to move into that and these ones with a slash are directories so if you want to get inside the directory you just have to press enter okay so i am inside the directory okay so first of all i need some files over here so that i can do some operation on that so i'll just go into this config and let's say i want to copy these files so to copy you can press f5 and just press okay so you can see it's copied over there again f5 again copied over there again f5 again copied over there now so now you just notice that i copied three files if you wanted to copy one single file it would have been quite easy but what if you wanted to copy multiple files so let me find some multiple files somewhere or let us say i want to copy all these everything from here to here so what you can do is you can press insert key and you will notice that four of them are selected now now if i press f5 for copying these things will be copied over there okay now i can go to the right side and do some operation on that let us say i want to delete a particular file so i can be on that particular file and i can press f8 and i can delete the file so the deletion is possible now if i want to rename a file you can see f6 is there for rename and move so if i say f6 and uh, it is saying move to the same location or uh, it's showing me where to move so i'll remove the whole path from here and i'll give it a new name when i do this something like this and say okay it gets renamed but if you say f6 and you don't change or remove this directory part your file will actually get moved to the other pane so that is how you do a rename and move into this now make directory the command is mkdir but if you want to make a directory over here you can simply press f7 and uh, you could just simply say new directory and you can see a new directory has been created over there fine now suppose i don't want any of these files so i can delete them but rather than going deleting them one by one i could press insert insert again and select all of these this way i can select multiple files and i can delete them now if i want to delete these all these files i'll just simply press f8 and delete them since there are directories it's giving me a message do you really want to delete them recursively and yes so this way i can delete the files you can create a directory you can rename move the files you can copy the files and if you have plain text files you can view and edit them so this is a simple introduction to midnight commander we will be seeing more details of the usage and other settings in the midnight commander in a later on video hope you like the video install midnight commander on your machines this is a really useful tool even for command line experts and i hope you like the video thanks for watching do subscribe to my channel
Thank you.